Here we have a 2006 Volkswagen Golf GT TDI five door hatchback in black. Starting with the offside front tyre. Tread wise, good amount of tread there. Does look like a new tyre or recently new. Good five to six mil easily there. Offside front tyre, you can see um, very heavily corroded um, all around the majority of the alloy there. A lot of paint bubbling as well, um, but mainly just corrosion to the alloy. So definitely going to require a refurb there, not in the best condition. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, uh, there is one or two few dinks, um, especially in the rear door, uh, which I'll show you later on in the video. No signs of any heavy dents, etc. Uh, we have got some paint bubbling around the front arch here. As you can see, there is some paint bubbling appearing there. Um, light scratches to the paintwork again, so going to require good polish. Some light little marks to the mirror. Uh, looks like they've been, or tried to have been painted in. Not the best job. Driver's door itself, uh, again, one or two light scratches, so going to require good polish. Some touchings required to the door edge of the vehicle as well. You can see you've got some heavy scuffs there. Uh, both the sills are in nice condition. Looking at the um, rear passenger door again, we have got some dinks. If we just show you down here, so you can see one or two light dinks in the bodywork there. Again, it looks like it's been resprayed, to be honest. Um, you can see some paint starting to peel off down the door edge. Um, but it does look like it's been repainted, um, especially around the rear passenger door. Some light scratches as well around the rear arch, so again, we're going to need a polish. Rear tyre, looking at like a good 4 to 5 mil there. And again, unfortunately, a lot of heavy corrosion to the rear alloy as well, so definitely going to require a refurb there, as you can see. Moving towards the rear of the car. Some light scratches on the rear bumper here again. Looks like they've tried to, to paint those in. Um, but you can see that there. Um, some deep scratches in the back, as you can see there. That's going to require some paint. A lot of light scratches to the back of the tailgate, so good polish needed to the rear of the vehicle. A lot of light scratches to the boot as well. Near side rear quarter, um, got a bit of a deep scratch there. I can just about get my nail into that. And we've got some heavy scuffs there on the near side rear arch. So you can see a lot of scratches around that area as well. Uh, and taking a look inside the boot, you've got your parcel shelf there, lovely clean condition. And we have got a spare wheel and all the bits and bobs needed in the back there. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. And again we are looking at around 3 to 4 mil. Near side rear alloy, again as you can see I've got some corrosion and some scuff marks to this alloy as well. So again, going to need a refurb there. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, um, taking a look at the bodywork. Again, uh, it definitely has been uh, definitely been repainted uh, on the near side. Uh, you can see with the paint, the way the light reflects off the paint there, um, definitely been resprayed. Um, you got a small dink there on the rear arch as well. But as you can see, uh, a bit hard to tell in the video, but it's definitely had some paint here on the rear door and definitely on the front door as well. Um, you can definitely see from the the light reflects off it. It's all starting to fade as well. So as you can see along the bottom here, all these speckles where the paint is starting to fade. So again, not the best job. A lot of light scratches as well could do with a polish. And we've got some chips in the door edge as well. A lot of scratches and a lot of fading there to the front passenger door as well. All the little speckles along the paintwork to the front arch. So definitely had some paint on the near side. Light scratches there, and we have got some paint bubbling to the near side front arch all along here as well. Front tyre on the uh, near side, we get a good 5 to 6 mil. So, all four tyres have actually got plenty of tread on them, especially the fronts, but again, some uh, refurb required on this alloy here. Again, not as bad as the other ones, but there is some corrosion quite bad on the top there to the alloy. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, uh, we've definitely got some stone chips that require some touchings. No signs of any damage to the front bumper that I can spot, but again, definitely requires some touching to the bonnet as well, and also some light scratches on the bonnet itself. Take a look inside the interior of the vehicle. If we just get the vehicle properly opened up. As we can see, we've got a full cloth interior. It's not in bad condition actually, there's no signs of any damage inside the interior. Um, you can see the carpets are lovely and clean, back of the seats are in good condition as well. It's actually looking very clean inside, um, just a shame about the exterior, but lovely condition there in the back. Looking inside here as well, the driver's seat is also 
nice and tidy, no signs of any damage at all there. And the same at the front passenger seat as well. Dashboard etc is quite clean, no signs of any marks or damage, and it's only a bit of wearing to the steering wheel. Now let's step inside the vehicle itself. Getting the uh, the vehicle started, we have only got one key, so just one key with the vehicle there. Mileage we're looking at, oh it's just popped off. So as you can see with your mileage there, 112,663 miles on the clock. And no symbols appearing on the dash to be aware of at all. Looking at your CD and radio. Fact Monday. Again, no issues at all with the sound, works perfectly fine. You can see you the Parrot phone kit installed there. Manual transmission, no problems at all with any of the blowers. And again, the air conditioning is working perfectly fine as well. Looking at the paperwork, looking at the V5 for the vehicle, the car's had four owners, so four owners on the car. It does have an MOT until November 29th, 2014, so we'll need an MOT at the end of next month. And service history wise, now it is all um, receipts, there's no service book, so all receipts. Just to quickly show you this one, um, at 60, 61,000 miles there, it has had a cam belt and tensioner replaced, also the brake pads replaced as well. Um, so lower turbo intercooler etc. So it's had a lot of work done to it there at 60,000 But it has had its cam belt done, which is the main thing and uh, now taking a look at the receipts for the service history If we start at this one, um, this is at 38,000 miles. So that's its first service at 38,000 miles um, we've then got a service at 60,000 miles. That's when its cam belt was done as well uh, we've also got one there at 93,000 and the last service done at 103,000 miles there. So it has got quite a lot of service history with the vehicle. All in receipts though, some done at Volkswagen and some done at independent garages. But there is service history with the vehicle. They have it, this is 2006 Volkswagen Golf GT TDI.